Hey guys, welcome to Keto Connect. My name is Mega. I'm Matt. And today we are going to show you how to make curry cauliflower rice. And this is exactly what it's going to look like at the end. Today we went to the farmer's market and we got a head of cauliflower for, I think- Two bucks? Two, yeah, two dollars. They only for a dollar, but they were kind of weak. So we went, we sprung for the two dollar one that was nicer. Yeah, we like to get the really big ones. Break it up, so you can use your hands, you can use a knife, rough chop, however you want to do it. We use um, half a head of cauliflower for two people. So if you have more than two people, then feel free to use the whole thing. Are we going to do half of this or all of this? We're going to do half of it today. Okay. So pretty much just break it up. Yeah, just break it up, throw it in a food processor. You can probably use a blender too. Have you ever done it in a blender? No, I haven't. Um, but yeah, I feel that would definitely work. It might not get it as finely chopped, but that's fine. Um, they also sell this pre-ground up at... Um, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Which is, it's on the expensive side and it's not as much. So, it's know. really easy to do it yourself. Yeah. At first I was like kind of intimidated and I was like, whoa, they sell it pre-ground, I'm gonna get this all the time, but it's super easy once you do it. You just throw it in a blender basically. So basically just assemble. And guys, there you have it, it's that easy. Next step is some people will steam this and just like have it like rice is steamed. We like to crisp it up a little bit in a pan with like butter or coconut oil I think we're gonna do. Yeah. Coconut oil and then like some seasonings and stuff. We will take our cauliflower rice that we just made in our processor and add it directly to the hot deep pan skillet. Right now at this moment you can add salt, pepper, just keep it simple. But today we're gonna do a curried Indian rice. So we'll add some curry powder. And then we'll add some garlic powder. We got some onion powder. Cumin. Just a little spice. You guys can opt to leave it out. We love our spicy foods. And then just salt and pepper. So once you add whatever you want to your rice, you just mix it up and let it cook for a bit. And this is our finished product. As you can see, you can see the curry uh, colors. Uh, we cooked it on high for about 10 minutes in our cast iron skillet and this is the product. <laughs> 